Hey guys, Rob Uprise Engineering. I'm about to show you one of the most fully optioned TP96s to date. This thing is an absolute beast. I'll walk around, I'll show you the trailer, I'll explain electronics, what's going on. Come with me, take some time. Let's have a look. TP96. Travel buddy oven, 60 litre fridge. We got track armor storage boxes, Darchi awnings, 240 volt installs, solar power. We've got a side drawer, storage drawer here. Fully signed, written by Ben Hur, done a marvelous job. Inside, we've got our new drawer systems and we've moved the drop saw slide over the hatch. So, out she comes and we can still get into the battery compartment inside. Two big massive drawer systems here. They're about they're 900 deep by about 200 tall. Uh, they're good, good draw systems. Shelving platforms both ends. 200 watt solar panel mat. Um, this trailer's also got full Red Arc Envy build. So we've got door activation alarm systems. We've got GPS tracking. We've got a thousand watt inverter. We got a BM1230 management system. So those who don't know what this is, this is Red Arc BM1230 Series 3 management system, which is all in one unit. It is an AC charger. It is a DC to DC charger. And it also a battery monitor system, which allows you to understand what's going in, what's coming out, how much time you've got left of your whole trailer. Um, really, really good system. We've got a 240 volt install. Um, we have water level senders. This has got a 80 litre stainless water tank, aluminium bash guards, um, C flow six litre per minute pump. Um, it's got it all. So we've got external side lights, both sides. Internally, we've got full LED lights. So one, two, three, four. We light her all up. The next one we've got our water pump and then our water level sender as well. So come for a walk around, I'll show you a little bit more. Um, full marine carpet fit out, first aid, fire extinguishers. In the back here we've got our shelving platforms, fixing platforms. We've got our rear drawer systems as you've all seen before. Just monstrous draw systems in a, in a TP96. Track armor storage box for uh, all your straight edges, your levels, bits and pieces. Really, really good product. Very popular on our trailers today. Um, rear ladder systems, both sides. You've got all the rear roller for your roof rack. Inside here, we've obviously got more shelving platforms right through up here. We've got hand tool storage drawers. Um, so you get 100, 100, 200, and then these become 100 as well. You've got more storage space right through here. Um, you can fit another drop saw slide here. Uh, I have one personally in my own trailer to fit um, table saws or thicknesses or anything of that nature. But those sort of table saws, they do fit in the rear drawers as well. So those rear drawers are actually 600 wide, um, which can fit quite big gear. Another side drawer. The other side of the fridge box, you get that large compartment. Ideal for vacuums and bulkier items you don't want in the main trailer. Top shelf that continues right through. More storage up in the top box. Um, some guys put a little rubber mat up there carry Tommy Tuckers and those sorts of things. At the front here, you've got a spare wheel. You can undo that spare wheel and you can actually mount that to the front of the rack and create more space here. So 95% of guys um, who run a compressor would still option for this fridge box, but bolt a compressor here, put a $100 PVC cover over it. Um, not a lot of guys run compressors full time these days. So it's definitely a good option. Um, I'll turn the water pump on, I'll show you some water. So, 
water tap on the draw bar. About 80 litres of storage there. Um, so yeah, she's an absolute beast of a trailer. Um, I'll show you the awning actually, because I spoke to you all a little while ago and I showed you the Darchi 270 awning of, of setting up. And I'll just show you again, because it's, it's an absolute sensational bit of kit. So basically just unzip the cover. Undo some Velcros. And walk it around. So I'll just grab some straps. And basically clip that under there and I'll walk that around. We tension that up there. the other side I'll grab another strap throw another hook on and that's it she's up she stands you can actually buy walls for these that zip all the way around Conditions like today, look, it's self-supporting, it's quite a strong frame. It'll it'll withstand smaller sort of winds. If it does get heavier, as I said to you before, we get another video. It's all a fold down leg. It's just a twist pole, twist it down. If you've got some legs, throw some ropes off here, but it's all pretty straightforward. Tuck it back up. Put your Velcro back on, just like that. So there you go, we'll do a bit of a walk around and give you a bit more of a look at this trailer. Uh, sharp as construction, awesome, awesome build. This is the level we can go to, this is what we do best. Now, this is a huge build. Please don't hop on social media and ask me how much this was. If you're interested, send me an email. That's the polite thing. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Catch you later.